Hey, what's up, YouTube? Midnight Crawler up in here. Back with another update. It's been a little while, but I got a couple of pickups, and I also got a cool little gift from a homie. I won a contest on here on YouTube recently, so I'll get to that in a minute. But I do want to send a special shout out to Double Shot J. Does great reviews on here. Uh, yeah, he he's the one that commented on my last video. I was a drunken mess. I don't even know how I posted it, but yeah, that's been taken down because I all you could hear was me mumbling and just showing off DVDs. So let's get on with this update. And before I do, as always, I want to give all my homies out there big cheers. Yes, sir. Here's to the weekend. All right, all right. Now, uh, got a great package. Uh, won a contest. Guessed the movie. Guessed it right. Hadn't won a contest in, like, years. So, awesome. Finally won. And, uh, yeah, this is what I got. Because I peeked open. You know, I couldn't resist. I have not watched it yet, though. But, yeah, great guy on here. His name is Frank Einstein Horror Freak. I really dig his reviews and just, like, his really dry sense of humor, like, very sarcastic at times, but he's a good dude, very knowledgeable of horror, knows his shit, uh, he's a go-to guy if I have a question, obviously, definitely, definitely recommend you guys check him out if you haven't subscribed or check out his videos, I think the cat's awesome, check him out, yeah, Frank Einstein, thank you so much, brother, I do want to send you a little thank you gift, I do that, if somebody sends me something, I usually do that, so, yeah, I'll get with you, I'll keep in touch, but yeah, Company of the Woods, have not seen this yet, definitely gonna check it out. Uh, this weekend, probably tomorrow, and, um, yeah, I always saw, like, the trailers, like, instant on Cinemax, like, late at night for some reason, and I never got a chance to see them, but, oh, well, I got it now, woohoo, all right, first pickup, it's gonna be Tourist Trap, I had not seen this or owned it at all, ever, in my life, so, I had to get with the program, and, yeah, I picked it up, fucking lovely, that has cover art, and the movie's just fucking awesome. A lot of giggling mannequins and just awesome fucking frights. I really dug it. Another must-have that I had not seen or didn't own was Trilogy of Terror. And I uh, picked this up with the, the sad passing of Karen Black when that around that time. And uh, I had not, not got around, yeah, excuse me, I had not got around to watching it. So finally finished it. Really dug it, of course. The last, the last one was just fucking awesome. But really dug it. Trilogy of Terror. So glad I picked this up. R.I.P. Karen Black. Uh, picked up 2001 Maniacs, Feel the Screams. I really dug uh, the first one, the remake uh, by the same director, Tim Sullivan, and, uh, you know, with Robert England. But uh, this one, you know, it, did, it was it was cool. It was fun. But I didn't think it really, like, you know, was as good as, like, the the, one, the first one that he made. You know, of course, not talking about the original by Herschel or Lewis. But, yeah, either way, really cool. And it's a sexy, uh, like, uh, see-through case. I always love those. They turn me on. It took on my pick. Well, and yeah, Trilogy of Terror, so I did a little sexy see-through case. That's pretty cool. All right, uh, getting on with the program. I picked up four, a pack of uh, four fearsome films. Feeding the Masses is a horror collection. Mainly picked this up because I'm uh, a big fan of Richard Griffith. And uh, I already own Spider Disco, but Necroville was on there and Feeding the Masses. And instead of picking those two up separately, I was like, you know what? They're both on here. Might as well pick it up. And they also threw in Creature from the Hillbilly Lagoon, which I have not seen. So I'm looking forward to that. But of course, I have seen Spider Disco. Spider Disco, really fun. It's like a, it's like a slasher uh, musical, you know. But uh, yeah, really looking forward to checking out Necroville and uh, Feeding the Masses. Uh, this is a not not that expensive. So if you guys want to save some money, want to pick up four really cheesy great flicks, highly recommend you check this out. It's really cool. Oh, and uh, let me show you the insides. They look, you know, you get your own uh, separate discs with great cover art. Sky Disco, Necro Will, Feeding the Masses. Yeah, it's good shit, good shit. All right. Also picked up the uh, four pack again, another one, a Suburban Psycho Horror Collection. Uh, mainly picked this up because of Draniac. I'm a big Brett Piper fan as well, and I didn't own it. Skin crawls, it's all similar this, so I had to pick this up. And I've seen, like, one of these trailers, Psycho Sisters and Suburban Nightmare. I know Trent Hager's in one of these, and big Trent Hager fan. Um, you guys probably have known from Splatter Disco and said, I was talking about that film earlier. And uh, Chop, oh, just awesome. Yeah, I'm watching Draniac. I've been wanting to see that for a long time. It has great cover art, I mean, a DVD art, so it's an add on that. But it's in my, it's in my player right now, Skin Crawl. 
Suburban Nightmare, and uh, Psycho Sisters. I think uh, Trent Hager is in this one, but uh, yeah, man, really looking forward to uh, watching all these because I had not seen any of these. And like I said, Drainiac is in the player, so great, great uh, set, cheese, and gore, and uh, you know, low budget and cheap and on Amazon, not that expensive. Gut, I picked this up. Uh, it's been on the radar for a while, and you know, I've heard mixed, uh, you know, reviews on it, but, uh, I think I had, like, a DVD of the month for Fangoria, and, you know, I still read Fangoria when I can afford it, which is, like, twice a year, so, um, the last issue I bought, they gave it the DVD of the month, so I was like, you know what, let me give it a try. Don't know anything, uh, more than it's, like, a wannabe, uh, snuff film or something like that. I haven't really gotten too much details on reviews, I've just, like, been checking out the thumbs up and thumbs down. <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna give it a, give it a shot, and uh, that's gonna be it for my update. Thanks guys for uh, checking out my vids, and I'll holler at y'all next time. Peace.